the five best chess moves of MVL and I'm so happy to be doing this video. This is only going to be on people playing other candidates and MVL has got that place. I think well deserved even though we got it because someone else pulled out. Now MVL is a brilliant player. Um, whilst looking for games I came across many tactical brilliancies so I had a wealth of of examples to pick from we're going to look at five of his best now please enjoy please try to find the moves and let me know which one is your favorite on to example number one in this first example white has just played bishop to d5 check now most mere mortals would be right okay i'm in check i've got to move my king out of check they'd be thinking i cannot take that bishop because my knight is pinned. But this is MVL. And he comes up with an incredibly imaginative queen sacrifice here. He's probably one of the main guys in the world who sacrifices his queen more than anyone else. So I saw this when doing my research for this YouTube video. And here he plays knight takes d5. And the idea of this is after bishop takes d8, knight takes c3, attacking the queen. White recaptures, black recaptures here. And MVL has only a rook and a bishop for the queen, but the bishops are extremely good. MVL has some great open lines to work on, and White's king is quite weak. Very nice vision, showing great understanding of the game. And after some more moves, queen d2, pawn takes here, opening up the e-file, and now taking advantage of that open file, king f1, Bishop takes g4. You can see the black pieces flooding in. And to become such a great player, you have to be brave. And this shows that MVL is well capable of being brave. Example number two, MVL with the black pieces here. Rook d5 just being played. Remember, you can try to find MVL's moves. And this is another case of brilliant foresight. What would you do here? Pause if you need to. Queen takes d5, another queen sacrifice. I reckon that MVL has some grudge against the queen. You know, maybe when he's a small child, you know, going through the streets of Paris in his cot, a nasty queen fell from the sky, landed on his head, and it left some Freudian mark on his subconscious. The game continued. Pawn takes d5, bishop to e5. And the point, again, is that all his remaining pieces are raving. The queen runs away, bishop h2, and now rook h8. And just every black piece plays a part. He really understands how the pieces do coordinate. And this gives him a great chance in the candidates, in my opinion. The game continued with MVL repeating the position once, showing who's boss. And now a very clever move to distract the queen away from the king. And he plays e3, going for the win. If the knight can get into e3, he'll be laughing. But after a couple more moves, it becomes clear that he's in a great position with that e-pawn one square away from queening. So MVL and queens, don't put them next to each other. You might have a problem. That's one thing I'm learning so far. Sometimes the best things in life are short and sweet. Can you think of any examples of that in life? Well, we have an example on the chessboard here. MVL clearly has an attack with three pieces very actively placed. And he now finds the best way to finish things off. Remember, pause if you can't find it. Rook to g7. And this rook can be captured. In actual fact, Nepo, one of his rivals in the candidates, resigned here. The threat is taken on h7 with mate. And if it is captured, now rook f7 check gains a deadly tempo and next move either the rook or queen will capture on h7 delivering checkmate quite a simple tactic but one that is i would say reasonably strange putting a rook on an empty square where it can be captured and like i said some of these simple ideas are visually the most pleasing this next example again shows how mvl can coordinate his pieces to create magic over a chessboard his pieces again are raving around the board. The black king is in a little bit of a weak place. 
Knight and Queen, very good attackers normally, but how did MVL force the win here? One of my favourite moves of the, the whole, whole lot, this one. Can you see it? Rook to d7. Like the last example, the rook dives into a square where it can seemingly be taken by numerous pieces in this example. But the real idea behind this beautiful move is to try and get rid of this bishop, which is blocking the e file. His opponent, fellow Frenchman, Igor Nataf, now play bishop takes d7. But after knight takes d7 check, with the idea of flicking the queen to h8, king to g8, the knight comes back, king to f8, there's one more killer move. Can you see it? Knight to h5. And the real reason behind this tactic becomes clear. There's no good way to stop queen to h8 checkmate. The game now continued. G takes h5, and of course, the queen slid in. MVL had a bit of his croissant and delivered checkmate in style. Very nice play there. And like the last example, it's this little move, putting a rook on an empty square, opening up lines, opening up the e-file that wins the game in this case. You can discuss other variations in the comments below. This next example is quite beautiful, I think. The pieces on the board seem like they've just been thrown on there by some modern artist. I have a spray of pieces over there, a piece over there, a piece over there. As you can see, there's a pawn here. How did that get there? The material imbalance is very strange. Black has a queen and a rook, but white is threatening the queen and the rook. So anything here is still possible, but MVL finds a very nice way to calculate his, his way through these complications. Can you find the best move now. It is rook takes f2 and this is really a great example of how what top players do. Okay they're attacked a normal human might move the queen and uh, allow the rook to be captured but top players will always try to find the most active solution and rook takes f2 is trying to get rid of the two rooks to queen the b pawn here to queen the b pawn here. And one line that demonstrates how strong this is, is rook takes queen, and now rook takes rook check. And in this position, we can just take this guy here, and the pawn will queen. Again, you can discuss other variations in, in the comments below, but this rook takes f2 is, is just a really beautiful bolt from the blue here, and a very nice demonstration. In that last line, after rook takes queen, maybe even stronger is bishop takes rook you know this is another another way that should win eventually with the rook sliding in here so a lovely sense of vision the game continued knight g5 but after bishop g3 this queen can still not really be captured and there's a threat of queen h6 so beautiful tactics from mvl who's as good as anyone else in the world when it comes to tactics some nice bit of je ne sais quoi shown on the board there and MVL proving he's tactically very astute and just as good as anyone else in the world. I hope he does brilliantly in the candidates. He's a lovely guy, very humble and an extremely talented chess player. Remember to like this video and remember to subscribe to chess.com. Leave your comments below. Good, bad or ugly. I'm used to them all. I have to look in the mirror, for example, every day. And I'll try to catch up with your comments at some point. Thanks and goodbye for now.